I wonder if you've taken a close look at theological colleges lately. There's a lot about them that's changing. They're finding new, flexible ways to deliver learning to students, part-time, online, intensive study, on your doorstep learning hubs. There are new subjects on the curriculum, leadership, working with children or the third age, humanitarian development, Christianity and Islam. There's even a change at the levels they teach at. They're moving up to MA and PhD and they're, and they're getting down to evening and weekend seminars designed for lay people, young people, all people. Over the past 10 years, the number of students studying religion and theology at universities has gone way down. There's just half the number now there were 10 years ago. But the number in theological colleges has remained steady and, and gradually grown. So what's the attraction? Why would people choose a small college over a big university? Well, first, because theological colleges are confessional. That is, they don't just study religion, but they're places where faith is practiced. Christianity is taken seriously as a living, passionate, life-changing reality. Students and teachers worship together, pray together, think deeply together. Second, theological colleges are vocational. That is, they offer the chance for students to engage in the kind of field-based learning that prepares them for the work and ministry they'll be involved in when they graduate. They apply in their placement what they've learned in the classroom and then reflect with their teachers and fellow students on the hard lessons they've learned in the field. Their learning is earthed in real life. Third, theological colleges are communities, quirky collections of fellow travellers asking honest questions, sharing doubt and discovery. They're diverse places. The data suggests about 25% of students at theological colleges are from non-white backgrounds, compared to just 12% studying religion at universities. They reflect all the glorious diversity that's found in the church. More mature students, more students from underrepresented neighborhoods, more students with disabilities. It's an amazing kingdom-shaped mix. Of course, if you're expecting a three-year worship fest, you might be disappointed. It's also head-scratching, midnight oil-burning, simple hard work. Not quick answers, but the tools to explore your questions, the resources to equip ordinary human beings to make a difference in the churches and communities where they serve. So, before you write off theological colleges as dinosaurs from another age, take a second look.